Hello there, welcome to the channel. My name is Tom, and in today's video, we're going to be fitting a Cali board from 50 Degree Nord. But what is a Cali board? Very ingenious naming convention here. It's a board for the California, made by 50 Degree Nord, and it sits just there. But that's not the end of the video because we have to do two things that I can't stand doing. One is DIY. Second is a need to drill holes in the California. So why have we gone and got a Cali board? So when we do our camping, quite often I'm the one up here. And whilst there's plenty of space for me to sleep and you know stretch out and all the rest of it, with that roof elevation, you can't sit up. It's laying down position always. And what that then means is that this area, because it's open, just sort of becomes a void and your pillow drops through and things fall through and it, it just becomes a bit frustrating. Um, it also means that if you're watching a movie or something like that, yes, I'm one of those, I take technology with me camping. Quite often it means that I have to sort of be in some weird position to watch the laptop. This solves that. Because what this then does is it turns all of this area into usable space. But there's more, because a Cali board also allows you to actually put weight on it. So it means that actually, if the kids are up here, for example, um, they can then sit all the way up here with the roof open. Uh, it's a bit more, bit more accessible for them. Now, what I do when we're on our colder trips is I take a little bit of a bullet. I don't think it makes any difference, but it makes me feel like a better parent and partner. And what I do is I use this little timbre door when we're camping and I'm up here, and I pull it along and close myself out. But yeah, the problem is, I don't actually think it makes any difference. In fact, I think all it does is simply just stop some of the cold air going down. Great, okay, they're getting all the warmth, but I then don't get anything and I'm then even more cold. But we have a solution for that too. Enter the Cali heat. Well, that's probably a bit ominous looking, given. Right, but you see, this is where the Cali board has a little trick up its sleeve. Because if we open it up, we have ourselves a little hole. Can anyone guess what goes in here? Aha! Uh -huh. The giant ominous snake looking thing, which connects in there. Now, when you're down there, this then connects onto the heat event, and suddenly you're siphoning some of the heat upstairs. Clever. So not only are you stopping the cold air going down, but you're bringing the hot air up. So this is our alternative for things like the isotop and a Cali wrap and so on meaning we don't have to go outside to keep things nice and warm, um, and so on and so forth. So, with that said, we've got to fit it. So underneath this bed cover here, we have a metal frame, and it's that metal frame here which needs to be drilled. And that is the bit that scares me, because I'm not very good at DIY. I don't like hurting my vehicles, but we're going to do it anyway. Now what these do is they fit along the frame and in doing so give a solid surface all the way along from here, all the way along and then all along here. And that then gives in effect all four sides for the Cali board, this one here, to lay along. Now the downside is, is I have to actually drill into the bed frame and that piece is aluminium, I think. Now what you'll see along here are a load of white dots marked in chalk. They are holes pre-drilled into this aluminium frame. Coupled with that, we get these little screws. Now these screws are metal tapping screws. And we literally just drill those straight in without any pre-drilling required or anything like that. So it's actually a really simple job. Right, 
So now we've got obviously the three normal sides, plus now the frame that we've just drilled in, which now means that this has a nice stable platform to lean on. But there's something to keep in mind. And obviously that's me now freezing my bum off because all the heat will be lovely and trapped down here and I won't get any up there. But what's really surprising is the, uh, the lack of noise. So I've been trying to do this video now for a couple of days and with all the wind and the rain and everything else, I've really, really struggled because of the noise. Throwing this up, it's completely quiet now. It's really, really surprising. Um, and coupled with that, it's not the warmest of day right now. I can feel so much cold air coming down from there. So, done. Nice and sealed off now. Um, now, obviously, whoever's up there is going to be freezing. So, we have a solution for that too. And that is a little thing called a Cali heat. And as I showed earlier, there's this thing. Now, this is a bit unsightly. Don't get me wrong. But the idea is that attaches into there, like so. Simple as that. And then this end attaches onto that and clips onto the auxiliary heater. And so what happens then is all of the warm air from that heat gets partially siphoned upstairs. Now to do that, I need to do one more thing. And that is to fit this on. So when you get your Cali heat, obviously it all comes in its respective parts. So what we have to do is to put your little attachment on first, put this round in there, there we go. Well, that looks tidy enough. All right, there we go. Nice and secure. Okay, so now there's one more thing to do and that's to connect it. So if I pull it round this way, then all you need to do is connect this bit down here. And that's it done. Now there's no doubt that this is not the prettiest of things. But it will mean that whoever's up there won't freeze to death. And it'll still give heat down here. So anyway, that's our video of the setup. And uh, we'll see how it is in the next couple of days. So it's been about three weeks since we did the rest of this video and what we've done in that time is we've actually gone on a trip away to test these out and really give you our honest view of what they're like and I genuinely think of all of the products we've had over the past four years or so it's probably one of the best. The Cali board itself gives you a huge amount more extra space up there. I can't quite sort of emphasize enough the, the value of that space because suddenly you've got somewhere to put your phone and your watch on charge. You've got space for a laptop to watch a movie. You've got space for a water bottle. You've got a space to put your pillow so you're not actually tucked up hugging it all night long to stop it dropping through. That just made it feel so much more welcoming. 
And then the fact that it blocks off that hole itself adds to that coziness. Um, so that was really, really, really lovely. It made it feel like it was its own space rather than you were sleeping on the roof. The other one is safety. So like many of you, we have the net that goes up in the roof to stop the kids falling out. That act is an even better net, arguably, because the kids can't even drop through at all. You know, it's just all a surface. Now the Cali heat itself made a huge difference. So we don't have the optional blowy thing that attaches onto the top. If we did, I think it would have made it even better. And I genuinely feel that. Um, the heat that can get thrown into the roof is actually, it's enough to keep you warm. It's not enough to get you hot, if that is a good way to describe it. Um, and I don't know about anyone else, but our Cali heat is extremely effective. And downstairs it gets too hot. So actually it was quite nice because it siphoned off some of the, the additional heat that gets this the downstairs a bit too hot and threw it upstairs. Obviously the heater does come on more frequently because it's then going, well, you're not hot enough, you've not got enough heat, then it throws out more heat. But you know, just turn it down a bit and happy days there as well. There are some downsides, as with anything with a camper van. Uh, there's advantages and disadvantages, and, uh, and there are compromises with this too. So, I mean, the obvious one, had to drill holes, okay? No one likes doing that. Um, but to be fair, there's no other way to mount this. That is an aluminium frame up there, which if we didn't do that, sticky tape or something like that wouldn't have been strong enough. I certainly would never have trusted it. Um, and to be fair, you can't see it, you don't notice it, it's fine. Then the other one is the Cali hose itself. I mean, that's just ghastly. Um, that is not something which screams nice, but it does the job and it's very easy to fit. Um, I mean, I can just fit it in a, literally a second or two um, and when the girls are asleep it doesn't really matter right when the cali board folds up it's sort of concertinas so even with the cali heat attached you can still get in and out of the roof and it doesn't impede any access or anything like that anyway let, let us know your thoughts in the comments you know is this something you'd consider how many of you feel comfortable about drilling holes in your van. That's the end of the video. If you've liked it, please do hit the like button. Do subscribe if you want to see more content like this. We've got a number of other videos planned. We've got an eco flow that we want to talk to you about. We want to do a buyer's guide and a number of other things. With that, we'll leave you to it. Have a wonderful day and uh, enjoy the camping season. Bye now.